Hi, I'm Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company, and I am here today with Vanessa from Crafty Gemini. Hi, Vanessa. Hey, Jenny. It's awesome to have her. She's just so much fun. So this is the project we have planned for you today. It's this awesome little bag, and she's going to take us right through it from start to finish. So let's get started on this. All right, so, so Vanessa, what are, actually are we going to need to make this bag? So we're going to start off with one pack here of the two and a half inch strips, and I use this really pretty fabric. It's Mimosa by Wyndham Fabrics. I just love the it way the really colors. It really is beautiful. They go together so nicely, okay? Yeah, they really are pretty. And so for the fabric, as far as yardage and stuff goes, one pack of the two and a half inch strips is for the outside, and you can see right here, I still have a chunky stack left. Oh gosh, yeah. You're going to make you're gonna get a lot more bags definitely. out of that than just... You will just, definitely get yeah. your money's worth, and you don't have to do the cutting because it's already pre-cut. So That's for right. this project, I love that. it's a, a great way to set it up. Yeah. Now for the yardage, minimal. I would go with maybe two thirds of a yard of fabric. We're going to use about a little bit less than half a yard for the lining, mm -hmm. and then for the strips as well. All right. Perfect. Perfect. And then what's inside the magic? The magic. <laughs> this, is, this is the magic. I didn't know it about is. this magic. Look how the bag stands up by itself. There's nothing in it. We didn't have to stuff it to prop it up. It just holds its shape. It it's holds, amazing. It's beautiful. It's awesome. So the product. Let me show you here, Jenny. It's called Inner Form Plus. It's made by Bozel Foam and Fiber, and it's this it's like a lightweight foam and it's double-sided It's fusible. awesome. I I've never seen this before, so this is really cool for me. You can't get this type of a shape with batting. And you know, sometimes you use interfacings that may be a little bit too stiff. This stuff like you can crunch it up and it just pops right back to life. That's awesome. Especially really awesome. even if you don't use it for a bag like just for straps. You know the batting sometimes where it's folded at, it'll kind oh, of sure. like start weight, like dying out kind yeah. of with fibers. This stuff, I mean, it's amazing. It just it's it, holds its shape great. It, it's also it's like it's like two little thin sheets of fusible with, with a little bit of inside. foam inside. Yep. That is awesome. Very cool. So let's let's see how we do this. So to get started, we start off with Let me a piece this here. Over here. Great. So we're making the outside of the bag, and this is a very improvisational project. I like to use a quilt as you go technique. If you're working on a couple of quilts, this is a great People little project. People love quilt as you go. They yeah, love it. You can fit this little project in. It's just to free you up a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're cutting out tons of patchwork <laughs> pieces, this is something where. You can just cut as you go, and I'm going to show you how to do that. We start off with a piece of the Inner Form Plus here. It measures 15 inches by 30. Yeah. So, so this comes bag. Does this come like pre-cut in? You can buy it. Some quilt shops and places carry it by the yard. You can also purchase it in packages. Oh, okay. Okay. Very cool. And so we're going to start off here. To start off, let me show you on this bag. I started off actually with this little triangle piece in the middle, but you can also start uh -huh. off so here, right just here. with a square as well. Any shape, you know, that you can start off with. And we'll show you how it starts. That's so cool. So usually what I do is I like, you know, this is going to be folded up in half. So say you want the front of your bag to be here. We're going to mm -hmm. start off with one little piece. And notice, I'm not using any scissors. I'm just going to cut off the sewing. You're not here. using any scissors? I, I'm not using any rotary cutters. <laughs> I just saw rulers. you use those rulers. rulers. No rulers. No rulers. <laughs> So we're going to cut off just a little chunk. Say we're going to start off with a square or a rectangle. I'm not measuring anything, all right? So say we want this right okay, here. Okay, this is a little out of my box, you know. I'm a measurer. <laughs> let, let, your, let your mind get a little Ooh. bit free right here. <laughs> so we're starting off here. You put one piece with the pretty side of the fabric facing up. You okay. want to pick out the next one? What, sure. what do you want to sew? We'll contrast one? a little bit. Great. So here goes. <gasps> no ruler. Oh my gosh. No rotary cutter. All right, all right. So here you we just go. eyeball it. It doesn't have to match up perfectly with the piece before okay. it. And now we're going to lay these just as we would piece something together, pretty sides of the fabric together, and you're just going to stitch it on one of the sides. Okay, and so do we, do we, uh, is it quarter of an inch? It doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter. You can use your presser foot, the edge of your presser foot as a guide, and just stitch right down that line. All right, so I am going to just sit down here at the sewing machine and uh, let my inhibitions go. Sure. And so <laughs> one more thing to tell you about sewing with the, pro the Interform, for, uh, Interform Plus. Yeah. You don't need a walking foot. You don't need no, it to goes chain right up anything. Through. It stitches like butter. It really does. It really does stitch like butter. Because it's lightweight. You know, it has that foam on the inside. All so right. you don't really feel anything stiff in there when you're sewing So here it. we are. All right. Now let's take it over to the pressing surface. If you could pass me the scissors. I, do, I call that an ironing board, you know. Pressing surface. Oh. <laughs> ironing board. <laughs> same thing, you know. So now we're just going to open it up. And the same way that you would press your seams um, to one side, you know, and press the patchwork into place. Yeah. This is the trickiest part, just to be careful not to press the iron on the rest of it, because remember, it's fusible. It's fusible, yeah. So I just kind of tap it into place, careful. just in a few spots. You don't really need it, but yeah, it does help. Once you get a few strips on there, you can then really you can just really go to it, town yeah. and press it. And because it's stitched into place, it's going to hold nicely. It, you know, you don't have to do too much. All right. All right, let's pick another piece. Great. How about... And so now, this is... Notice, we're not measuring, and now you can kind of pick any side you want. You can go here, 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 whatever you want to do, Jenny. All right. Ooh, I see. I'm going to go here. You're getting the hang of this, huh? 
this is this it's is fun. it's gonna be really fun and, and it actually, doesn't matter because at the end especially if you're working with a strip pack like these you know the collection goes together right everything matches you don't have a problem do you know that is actually for me that is huge it's because helpful. I am I'm a little color challenged yeah because I'm a matcher uh-huh and I'm not good with contrast and so when I open a pre-cut it's all done it's for done. me and yeah. I love that part of it so for this project it's great yep. and then if you also wanted to go with a more scrappy feel it's a great scrap buster because you can just throw any little scraps on there as well all right so can I try ironing this I, I just want it I just want to see how it feels it. to sure. to iron this and still we're being very careful not to touch Mm -hmm. uh, any place, but and if you do, you know, I've, it's, I've done it a few times. It doesn't really, if you don't get that bulkiness like some fusible webs get on your iron. Yeah. And uh, at the end of the day, it doesn't have to be fused on here. So it still works out fine. Let's cut some of these threads. All right. So, and so how about? That's all you're going to keep doing is going around and around. Look at you. I know. It's I'm a just puzzle. <laughs> trying to find out what, I don't want to put green by green. Yeah, exactly. Too matchy. You see? Exactly. Oh, oh, it's here, not. I'll do this. Perfect. There you go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's so easy and so fun. And because the chunk that we're starting off with is not that large, it really whips up pretty quickly. I mean, I think that's the part that takes the longest, is picking which fabric you want to go where, Yeah. you know, what we want to do. Well, and even if it doesn't line up exactly, you it just doesn't. lay the next strip that's right. over it. As long as the fabric that's on top Love is not it. too light. Sometimes you may see the seam show through a bit, but it's not that big of a deal. All right, now we have one actually that we've been working on. That's actually, right. she's been working on. I'll leave this one with you so you can finish yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be fun because this is really this is really new to me, and yeah, so this is good. this is actually really fun. So let's see the piece you've been working sure. on. Sure. So let me show you here. After a little while of working with all that, here we have this one. And quick look. Oh my gosh! See how look cute at that this. Looks? So we start off here, you can see where I started yeah, the first little squares. One. And then as you keep going, you kind of get almost like a chevron look. Yeah, you sure. You know what you're getting with the different strips. Well, and this is fun too for me because um, you have two in a row that are the same length and you don't have to do one, 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 one. You just you do it to. wherever Any way you, want you want to. Yeah. This would also, I mean, I know we're making a bag here, but this would make a darling table, table runner. runner. I and see you, you eyeing it, it for that. You could make it as long as you wanted to, yeah. really. Or as short. They make, look at this, like a little table topper. Sure, rug mug, something A little something rug like mug that. for candles and things. Oh yeah. my gosh. And e the product is amazing. Even really now, she was also telling me that you use this product and you make oh like um, iPad, iPad covers. iPad covers, tablet sleeve covers, Okay, you, you actually cozies. lost me an iPad cover because I can't imagine making one of those, but you, we're going to have to. so easy. Yeah, we're going to have to do a, a little something on that. That, that would be that fun. Sounds really fun. For cell phones as well, and because the foam is kind of like a little protective sure. layer, so for any electronics, we you know we have so many gadgets these days, it I really love it. works great for that. So let's just show here how the stitching ends up being. And nothing is super perfect matched up, you know, you're kind of crossing yeah, over and I love seams, it. Isn't and it works great. Out, right? So let's start so we finish trimming it up, so it up flip so it back. Well, we have one more corner to oh, finish yeah, that's here. Right. So let me put uh, let me put something Whatever you want. crazy out here. I think I'll just do this, Perfect. even that though it's cute. blue, blue, yeah. but it's the right size. Yeah. Well, and it has a little and pop of some of the flowers and the other colors that will go nicely. All right, let's see here. Honestly, when I saw this wide piece, I did not see it as a bag, you really? know, because, <laughs> because I wasn't... I just wasn't sure how it was going to go, you know. Well, you know, it's like when you, if you're buying like pre-quilted fabric, now you don't need to because you can make your own and then cut it down to whatever right. size you, you need for your projects. Gotta iron that down. You do know that I'm a Gemini as well, do you? No, I am. <laughs> When's your birthday? June 1st. <gasps> June 1st. I'm June 11th. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah, awesome. I think yeah. it's why we're, we're both, crafty. We're both a little crazy. We're crafty Gemini. <laughs> That's awesome. So now we're just going to trim it up. Since the foam was cut to the size, a good little strip ruler. Oh, okay. And just trim it down to match your Yeah, to match the edge cuz then we're going to stitch this up. I love this. This is really fun. And this stuff, Oops. it's like instant finish. It is. It is. That's really cool. And so I'll show you a little something else, actually, because this one is just stitched down into place. Once you quilt, because um, it's quilt as you go, once you, we stitch these into place and it's fused on top of that, that fabric isn't really going anywhere. So That's it's so all cool. good to go. And we're now carrying this. So yeah. I'm going to go to town. I mean, I'm, I'm in projects. There's going to be so many. <laughs> you're going to find so many different things that you can do with it, for sure. That's awesome. That is awesome. And now, if you show them that other bag, Oh, yeah. This one right here. Well, actually, yeah, on both of them, I did the same thing. Notice that there's quilting lines on it. You can now, Ooh. if you want to, you don't, you don't have to at all because it's done. Once you piece the front of it, you know, it's quilted as you go. 
You don't now, have to, but I went back and did just straight stitch lines oh, that's along very the cool. length of it, and it just so, gives it more texture, I think. So a lot of times when we do a tutorial, we'll put the pattern for it in the Block Magazine, and this is actually coming out in the Block Magazine, and we've used Jennifer Paginelli's Good Company fabric for this, and this is the fabric that it will be featured in the Block Magazine. I had a lot of fun and, making um, that one. It's just gorgeous. And so it'll come out in Mod Block. Mm -hmm. Uh, and so it's just going to be really, really, uh, it's just fun to see it in two different styles. Totally different, yeah. exactly. Totally different. And so at this point, if you did want to do those um, straight line quilting stitches, you could do it. You can even do free motion quilting. So this, this would point. be the time you'd do that. Yeah, now. Okay. Because after this, now you don't even really have to. You don't have to. Okay. But it just adds a different texture. Yeah, so this one also has the yeah. line sewn in it, you can see. And I use a variegated thread that had the colors of the, the fabrics, so it kind of like adds a little bit more color, more pop to it. Yeah, you know, on the more beautiful. Um, neutral really fun. tones. Really fun. All right, so you would do that at this point. If not, no big deal. We're moving right along. We're going to lay this, or uh, fold it in half. Okay. And then I just need you to stitch down both sides. Okay. Top to bottom. I can do that. Easy enough. And this, it'll be interesting to see this because and we're now we have... our half an inch seam allowance. Oh, half an inch. Yeah. Okay. So now we have... Um, both of our, both of the, the, this stuff against the machine. And That's so right. it, it's really the true test as to whether or not we need a walking foot. And no honestly, walking foot, no Teflon I mean, I foot, can, nothing. I really can let go of this and it just slides through perfectly. It's because that foam I think is so light that it just, it gets, it's compacted enough as it needs to, to go under the presser foot, but then the, the needle stitches right through it because it's lightweight. Now also, a half an inch is a little different for us. Most That's of us right. quilters do everything a quarter of an inch. And so for this product, I use half an inch because we're sewing, like you said, through two layers of the foam. It's a little bit bulkier. And we have fabric in there. So it's really like two layers of foam, two layers of fabric. And if you do a quarter inch, sometimes it might slide off on you a little bit. You don't want to catch it on the other side where it's not going through all the layers. And also my so half, an inch, my half an inch here, I didn't actually have to move the bag over. I kept it at the edge of the foot and yeah. moved my needle. So That's if fine. you have a, uh, a, a sewing machine that will do have. that, where you can just it, tap it over. Because we spots. all get used to putting our fabric down in, in the same place. That's right. And that way, it still felt the same, like I was sewing the mm -hmm. same to me, but it, but it was moved over because I moved my needle, not my project. That's an easy way to do it. Now we're going to go in and box in the corners. So to make the box corners, we're just going to put our hand in the bag here and then just pinch it. Give it a little triangle shape here so that that center seam is going right down the center. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just going to measure two and a half inches in from this tip most point here. That's awesome. So now you do know that however far in you go, that's how wide it's going to be on right. the side. And so that's going to help us keep us. I didn't know if you knew that little trick. Feet. That's just a great little trick to know because if you know when you're measuring these, you know how far you, you go keep up, them even on both sides. Obviously, yeah. you know. So it's so after we do that, I just take the ruler and take that same mark across to the edge, to the and edge. to the edge, and then we sew that, and then we sew that. All right. And then we'll do that to the other corner as well. And then we're going to repeat the same steps to the lining. So I'll kind of start taking off the lining pieces here while you do that, Jenny. The lining piece is the same as we started with that the foam uh, product, the Inner Form Plus, 15 inches by 30. We fold it in half. And then the same way that Jenny sewed up the bags on the sides, we're going to repeat that same process, except we need to leave an opening because we got to flip the whole thing right side out when we piece it together. So let me show you here. I use some darker stitching thread here. So this side just has stitching all the way down. And on this side, I left about a three to four inch opening on the one end. And make sure that you backstitch, you know, at the beginnings and at the ends of where you stop. Because when we go to flip this out, if you pull too much on it and it's not backstitch, it's going to come apart on you. Now, do we want to trim these off? I don't. You know, oh, I actually okay. leave them because they give the body a little bit more support. Absolutely. And, and, uh, do we body turn, to can it. we turn it? Sure. You can turn it inside All out right. if you want to. See what's happening. See how it's starting to take shape. <laughs> so are you liking the little project? <laughs> I am loving this. <laughs> you see? That's very And you can cool. already see, I mean, it holds its shape nicely. It really so. holds its shape nicely. Great. So let's keep going with this little lining piece. And after I was mentioning to them that we leave an opening here, and we're okay. going to do the same thing of boxing up the corners to the lining as well. Oh, okay. So we pinch that. We draw our little pen here. And two we're two and a half. And a half. Make the mark and then just take it all the way across the corner. To and let's do that on the other side as well. So we have this. Now, do you ever open up this seam or you just leave it down? Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It just depends, depends on, on the I'm bulk. Working. Yeah, yeah the bulk of I it. kind of agree. 
If you happen to be sewing fast and it's laying down, you just keep <laughs> you going. You take it with you. <laughs> <laughs> I do it too. Yep. It's like, oh, that's not going to matter. All right. So you want to. So we've done the box corners already to the bag, and now we're doing it to the lining piece, and then we're going to set those aside, and we're going to make our shoulder straps before we start putting the whole thing together. So this is coming together really quick and easy. Mm -hmm. And so just as a reminder, what we've done is we we have sewed all our pieces on, you know, quilt as you go. Quilt as you go. And ironed them down. That's right. We've sewn our side seams right here. Yep. And we've boxed, boxed the, the corners. corners. We have that whole outer shape done. And we've also sewn the sides same thing and done it. the boxing, the same thing Prep on our the lining. lining. That's right. Perfect, perfect. So join us for the next part where we're going to actually put the bag together mm -hmm. and make the handles. And we hope you enjoyed this tutorial, part one of the Quilt As You Go, Go Tote from the Missouri Star Quilt Company.